Well, I farmed in Daryl off screen, not that I believe anyone really cares about the Andarial stuff, because it's I've done it every playthrough. And I've acquired this skill, Twisted Claw. This seems to be the Wolf Druid's uh, single target killer, but its uh, attack rate is far lower than uh, anything uh, far lower than the standard attacks. And Harbinger fucking rules. Let's look at this. And keep in mind, I don't have uh, 10 points for the zero kills for the zero cooldown either. Although, unfortunately, I don't have any mana on kill or uh, mana on striking, which is why the void rune word is so beloved by pretty much, uh, not even pretty much, by literally everybody. Um, I'm gonna assume I'll just put one point in Twisted Claw. I mean, if it improved, uh, if hard points improved uh, weapon damage, then fuck yeah, I would do it. So in the meantime, I'm still relying on, uh, on, um, uh, mana pulse to keep me alive. And we... Also, I need Mark of the Wild active at all times. Let's see, Grubber, are you gonna die? Yes, you will die. Also... Yay. Also, uh... I found- made that. Found that out of the gift box. Found that. Gift box. Made that. This is just bullshit. This is just bullshit. And then I found this. I don't know what the hell this is, but this is not in the documents at all. Um, but I'm keeping it because it looks to be somewhat decent for right now. I mean, later on I'll replace it, of course. And, uh... Those of you who do not know what it's going to be replaced with, well, you should probably look at what a wolf druid likes. And I am looking at one by Thorkpie on the board. I think that's how he pronounces his uh, screen name on the forum. He made a wolf druid guide. It looks pretty excellent. So I'll refer to that and take suggestions from that. Oh my... Yeah, you get the hell out of here. The cooldown's already at uh, 1.2 seconds. That's not bad. Yes, I am going through uh, Maggot Layer and uh, Maggot Layer and Sun Viper Temple, which isn't the most interesting, I'll admit. But it, it does need done at some point. Well,. Actually, I guess technically, no, it doesn't. Sun Viper Temple does, but, uh, whatever. I will skip it on Terror, of course, because there's no reason to show it more than once a playthrough. And if I had, if I was cheating, I wouldn't even do that. I'd just get a bunch of Arcane Crystals, put it in my character, through my shared stash, and just do that, if I was to do that. And, unfortunately, I don't have enough mana. And we... Yeah, I definitely need that Void Rune word at some point for, uh, mana on striking. Literally the only build I've ever played where mana on strike would actually be useful. But my god, is it godly. Come on. Open it up. Come on now. Compared to a uh, mana pulse, it's 
Twisted Claw is definitely better than that. But certainly nowhere near as good as uh, Snake Stance. Or not Snake Stance. Storm Blast or Death Gaze. And... I went with uh, to your unique great sword because it's two hand weapon does not require any dexterity so I don't have to waste on that and also because it has really useful attributes increased attack speed and corpse shattered yay And uh, just look at that. Two to all skills, IAS, hit FHR, bonus attack rating. I mean, everything about that is just... Everything about that is just stellar. At least I didn't say phenomenal. Oops, I just did. And store it in the stash. Put you in there. Now, uh, pouncing around might be problematic when I do Island of the Sunless Sea, because I'll pounce into a into a Malak Punisher, and I know I will. Creature of Flame may also be hard if I'm not careful. So I'll just uh, kill off all, once I kill off all the uh, the guardians. I'm screwed. And yeah. Now that, I mean, now that Dark Summoning's been removed. Oh yeah, I can't. I can no longer hotkey that, because I took it out of the... my hotkeys. <laughs> So I was sick of accidentally clicking on it during the Ashari Sanctum. Okay, and now I can actually upgrade this one step further, I believe. Which I should do. And you die. And you need to die. Yay. Oh. I just now realized that's this is what Bale does when he Okay. Oh, so that's what Bale's uh, Raven Flight thing is. Uh, I, I just now realized that. I feel with mana on striking, I could definitely P8 this. jump. Oh. Fuse the jump.
Oh yeah, I forgot. We gotta call this Gur. So Bale uses Gur, basically. Come on. Fuck you two. We. Oh, we. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Finally, I can invest some hard points somewhere else. Or somewhere at all. But you know what? For early game, maybe I should just invest in a Twisted Claw, just to have something to invest it in. Alright, let's see. Lycanthropy enabled, Harbinger enabled, or, well, what am I saying? Lycanthropy enabled. One second. More feed the pack. More crushing blow. And I guess I'll invest in a uh, Twisted Claw. I mean, I'll definitely have to respec once I get some uh, elixirs. Some, uh, some Belladonna elixirs, because that's certainly not... There's no way that could be worth investing in. And yeah, Ice Bitch. That's certainly not worth investing in later, but... Okay, run, run, run. And we, and we. Fuck off. Where are you, jackass? Go fuck yourself. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, not... Not the right skill to be using. Not the right skill. Need to be using Twisted Claw. Fuck you. Fuck you too, piece of shit. Oh my goodness. So, uh, what should, uh... So what should I go for, for Jewel Crafts? Because, like, normally for these kind of builds, I I maximize Life Leech, but the Life Leech modifier won't do much, because Harbinger converts so much physical damage to magic. And I don't... I know that's not going to work. And, uh... I don't think Harbinger would actually target uh, life on striking in melee, which would be knee craft, so all I can think of is on crafted for pure power. I don't know. If you guys have any input on what kind of crafts I should use, go ahead and tell me. Because jewel crafts are basically my way of re-rolling uh, rare jewels now, since of course, you know, you, you can't make rares, nor can you re-roll them anymore. Not to belabor this point, but... Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's been a constant problem. And I would definitely have IAS in my weapon if that were the case, if I could do that. You get the hell out of here. Okay. I'm, I should probably swap attacks. Because I'm starting to use Harbinger more and more as a main attack instead of a attack when possible type thing. Oh god. Oh, okay, that's my shower of rocks, not theirs. Okay, good. And I'm definitely noticing the reanimates are growing. Apparently these reanimates are awesome and are among the best in the game. I don't know if I'd really agree with that. But I could be proven wrong, of course. Maybe. I don't see how they could be... I've heard someone say it was apparently the, the best reanimates in the game. 
That I refuse to believe, because I know for a fact that there's one sacred unique that can actually give a Quafsin reanimate. And yeah, there's no way these wolves are better than a Quafsin. And it's a SSSU. Uh, I think it's full plate mail. But yeah, either way, Quafsin reanimate. And that's got to be the best, uh, that's got to be one of the best, if not the best, reanimate in the game. Okay, so... Well, you, you got, you got to die. And... Yep, gotta do that. Gotta get rid of my shitty potions. Can't have any of them laying around, no sir. I'm gonna shift out of there for a minute. Just get some mana and see where it is. It won't take 10 seconds. Or maybe it will, because it's the last one I look at, of course. Why wouldn't it be? And... Gotta get some mana pulse so I can start moving with Gur. I just. I love calling it Gur. And yes, I'm looking for uh, perfect gems, or just gems in general. Okay, I'm gonna take these, take these gauntlets. Um, yes, I am looking for gems to improve uh, resistances. And you're fucked. Where are you? I want to hit. I've got to hit you with Gur. All right. Let's see. And half, half moon. I moved something. Hold on. Okay, I didn't move anything of importance. So good. Guys, out. And yes, I realize I'm not even remotely going close to the right direction. All right, so what's that? How much? Two, and then three. Okay, I'm trying to think. No, not that I would ever need to max all those, because that's stupid and pointless, but... Uh... Come on. Hit with Harbinger, hit with... Or hit with Gur, and then hit with, uh... Mana Pulse. Okay, I'm going all sorts of directions here. 
I'm sure not many of them are correct. And warp away from your bullshit after death proc. Sapphire. Come back here. Oh. All right. Okay, get the damn thing open. Okay, come on, take it. There we go. Grr. Grr. And grr. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. These fuckers. My god, that's all. Can you nerf their damage a little? On hatred, at least. My god, how much lightning resist can you possibly be expected to fucking have at this shit? Oh my lord. That is so dumb. Fuck you. I do, okay, I do have a portal up. Do that, that, that. I'm OCD with the way my, my shit has to look. And we, and uh, we, and uh, hey, take all day. Oh my. Well, I was certainly right about uh, that doing uh, single target damage. Holy shit. Uh, I'm just gonna put you in there. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I need some poison resistance like right now, because these damn bullshit, uh, well not really bullshit, but these poison spitters that cast Gift of Inner Fire when they die. Come on. And there we go. I still don't like how long those things take to uh to heal. And yes, I realize I could have used pagan rites. Sue me. And Time to talk to, uh, Jaren. And uh, I think I'm just gonna do the, uh, fetch quest off screen. Because, seriously, nobody needs to see, nobody cares to see that. Hello. Turns out now I'll get one goofball being like, how dare you not show the fetch quest? It's an integral part of the game. Except, I think even the, I think even the anal goofballs wouldn't would be like, don't show that. If this was an LP of the original, sure. But, since it's not, I think we're all fine. Oh, well, I will get, uh... Oh, wait, no, no, that's the arachnid layer, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, oh, I may as well get the eyeball, at least, since it's right here, but no. No, that's the other one. I'd like to be able to do enough damage to just har um, use Harbinger and not worry about it. And that will come as I upgrade my greatsword, which I'll upgrade that as soon as possible. By that I mean I'll just do Andarial runs. 
And yeah, Arachnid Lair. That's the non-essential one. Where's the essential one? Uh, like, really? All the way over there? Well, screw that shit. Well, I'm just gonna go straight down to the Flare Jungle, which I assume is down here. No? Great Marsh. Most useless area in the game. Aside from maybe the Outer Steeps, and even Outer Steeps is, has more of a point than this area, I think. Actually, wait, hold on. Uh, Flare Jungle's the other direction. Okay, so screw this place. See, I'm becoming more and more, uh... Yeah, I'm becoming more apathetic about, uh, getting that one. Which is probably f in everyone's best interest. Okay. Seriously, what, am I supposed to hit you with grr? What the fuck is this? Piece of shit. Trapped in dumbass hit recovery. Okay. Goodbye. guys are going to be a pain in the ass unless I twist and claw you to death. Maybe. What the fuck? Okay, healing potion. Like, I got all those mana potions, even though they're not going to help me. Okay, come on. Okay. Instantly killed by a djinn. Because I don't have any fucking fire resistance. Because I can't get mystic orbs yet. Well, actually I could, but... Actually, I probably should just mystic orb this ring here with all resists or something. I don't know. <laughs> 33... And yay, hit me with your never miss charge. Amethyst, that is useless as shit. Exactly the best things against uh, magic immunes. All right, and 
yeah, as like I said, not gonna do this fetch quest on screen because that's boring. What is what is it? Oh. Okay, I didn't realize the fire cascade proc. Not that it matters. And Mar strength. And I'm dead. Yeah, of course. I need cold resistance now. Uh, mm, should I cut? Yeah, I probably should, but will I? Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna cut, and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm actually at the city.